What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu's new show, Taste the Nation. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Let's face it. Shows like Anthony Bourdain's No Reservation, Samantha Brown's Places to Love, Somebody Feed Phil, hell, even Man vs. Food, are the ultimate dream jobs for those of us who hate getting stuck in a cubicle office from 9 to 5 all day every day. If you have the gift of talking and you're good at critiquing food, and if you have a love of travel, and if you're good at describing the locations that you're currently visiting in a tantalizing way that invites the audiences to also want to visit those places as well, then you, my friend, are the perfect host for these shows. So Taste the Nation with Padma Lakshmi is the latest example. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Rama, these food and travel shows have gotten too saturated. There are so many of them, and they're all pretty much the same, aren't they? I mean, you see one and you've seen them all. I would have to say, agree to disagree, my friend. Because I think what Padma Lakshmi has brought for us here with this show is timely, it's educational, and it opens a window to the kind of America that other travel and food shows are probably too afraid to explore. Taste the Nation examines some of our dark, shameful history. It highlights marginalized communities, and it dares to ask questions about this melting pot of ours, where there is a constant tug of war between assimilation and maintaining the integrity of one's culture. All of that is done in a constructive and uplifting manner by Taste the Nation. In Taste the Nation, award-winning cookbook author, host, and executive producer Padma Lakshmi takes audiences on a journey across America, exploring the rich and diverse food cultures of various immigrant groups, seeking out the people who have so heavily shaped what American food is today. From indigenous communities to recent immigrant arrivals, Padma breaks bread with Americans across the nation to uncover the roots and relationship between food, humanity, and history, ultimately revealing the stories that challenge notions of identity, belonging, and what it means to be American. If you're not familiar with Padma Lakshmi, Star Trek fans would probably remember her best as the character Kaita Ama on the Enterprise series. But for years, Padma also hosted a popular show called Top Chef. She had also published three cookbooks of her own, so when it comes to cooking, Padma knows it inside out, which makes her more than qualified to host a food and travel show. But what I notice as well from watching these episodes of Taste the Nation is that Padma is very attentive and very astute. In addition to being incredibly excellent with words, she's obviously quick on her comments, just like most travel hosts are. She can unleash funny responses on the fly. But in her written monologues, in between tasting the foods, she carefully takes the audiences through the context and the history in a way that doesn't sugarcoat it, but also doesn't freak them out either. Remember, people tend to fear what they don't know. So there's a certain calming aura about Padma in which as if she's saying, hey, come over here. There's nothing to be afraid of. Look, here's what this community eats. And let me tell you what they're all about. Now, some of you, I think, might find this show a bit too political and a bit too heavy. Maybe you just want to come to see the food stuff only, but don't care about the conversational parts. And I hear you. 
I don't judge you at all. It's totally understandable. This show does lean more towards sort of Patma lecturing rather than just simply Patma cooking. Some of the episodes do feel like you're taking civics classes again, but my counter argument to you is that that is what separates this show from the rest. Face the Nation doesn't just cover immigrants and how they feel about old pastime colonization, but it also covers descendants of slaves and their unique set of language. And because of Padma's heritage, she also dedicates a couple of episodes to promoting Indian American culture. And therefore, this show challenges you to burst that bubble that you are existing in and to realize that America is not always sunshine and rainbow and hot dog eating contest. This is a country that is simmered with ongoing conflicts. Acknowledging the beauty of America means that you also have to acknowledge America for all that it is. It's good, it's bad, and it's ugly. Whether or not you want to taste the nation and have that learning experience, the choice is yours.